excellent Jamal Murray to attack the penetration, get his hands on it, and Gordon comes with the recovery. Great help there for Murray. You know, for years, the Nuggets, oh, they were a good offensive team, but they weren't good enough defensively. That's not the case this year. And then Gordon got a piece of it. Well, a guy that had been challenged all series showed up in game four, Aaron Gordon. Not only offensively, but defensively, competing at a high level. Big time effort and bounce back to Gordon. What a special night for the Denver Nuggets franchise and what a wonderful moment for the Nuggets fans. 47 years and they're finally in the NBA Finals. This team, all season long, has been the best team in the West, but it's official now. As they win the Western Conference Finals for the first time in franchise history, let's go to Lisa. Thank you, Mike Nicola. Take me through that final defensive stand. Everybody in the building knew it was going to LeBron. Of course, I mean, he, he, had, a, he, had, he had an amazing game. We couldn't stop him in the first half. Uh, we found a way to, to to make him. All right, first, I want to publicly say I want to publicly apologize to LeBron. Y'all like to call me a casual. I guess I am a casual. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I said that LeBron is washed. That is completely unfalse. And I would like to recant my previous statement. <laughs> um... LeBron is now washed. LeBron, this is not over for LeBron. We are going to make it back. At the end of the day, guys, I don't really have a whole lot to say here. Honestly, I'm exhausted. I come, I've come, i came in here after a loss four times in a row. Like, I'm fucking exhausted. I'm tired of coming in here after we lose. Every time I come in here after we lose, it's more and more of you niggas. The more we lose, the more niggas get in here. It's like you guys are trying to piss me off, but I'm not going to let you bitch-ass niggas get to me because I know none of you pussy-ass niggas are Nuggets fans. I know none of you are Nuggets fans. None of you. I'm not going to scream at y'all. I'm not going to do that. None of you niggas are Nuggets fans, so it doesn't fucking matter. At the end of the day, this is all I have to say. It comes down to fucking heart. It comes down to fucking heart. It comes down to fucking heart. And I didn't see heart out of anybody but fucking AR and LeBron James. I saw no heart out of anyone else. I don't know if AD is tired from the defensive shit that he's doing or what. But he played with no fucking heart. He played with no sense of urgency. No fucking heart. You know what I'm saying? That's why the fuck we lost. I don't know what to say. Nobody fucking, I'm looking at the shit the whole fucking third and fourth quarter. And nobody wanted to help LeBron. Nobody wanted to help LeBron score. LeBron scored 40 points and we fucking lost. I don't even know how the fuck that's possible, bro. Them niggas. So, D-Lo, you're fucking out of there. I never want to see you in L.A. again. I never want to see D-Lo capping in L.A. again. I'm never going to call Anthony Davis a top seven player. That was also another thing that I said that was fucking stupid. Maybe at the time, maybe AD in the bubble, maybe. Not now. This nigga's a bitch. AD seems very comfortable with his fucking, I mean, don't get me wrong. His, his potato chips are amazing. <laughs> but he seems very comfortable with his potato chip deal and his fucking outfits and his one ass ring. He doesn't seem to give a fuck about winning another ring. He doesn't seem to give a fuck. He doesn't seem to give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I know that AD didn't even play that bad this game. He finished with 20 points. He averaged like 25 points a game, whatever the fuck. But it's the, it's the passion, man. It's the fucking urgency, man. It's the heart, man. He's not, it's not gritty enough, man. It's not fucking nasty enough, man.
The only niggas out there with any type of fucking heart is AR and 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 it was AR and LeBron. We just got fucking swept. We just got fucking swept. Then LeBron gave his all. And we got swept. Played the whole fucking game. He played the whole. He played the whole game, fam. What the fuck do you want him to do? I don't know what the fuck, bro. I was so happy. Oh my God, I'm remembering how happy I was. I was so happy. Third quarter, y'all. For a second, I thought we was finna pull a 3-0 comeback. Boy, we was up 15, 17, some shit, boy. We was up big at half, nigga. I was like, nigga, what? We can do this shit. And then the third quarter started... And I don't know what the fuck happened. What the fuck? They were getting every rebound just babying our shit underneath the hole. And LeBron just got to be in. You know what? I'm not even going to get on LeBron. This ain't LeBron's fault. But he, he, he was just standing there while the niggas closed the 17 point lead, the 15 point lead, 15 point lead. The niggas went up. And, and I watched LeBron just stand there the whole third quarter. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but I'm not going to blame him, though, because he had 30. Someone else has to do stuff. Someone has to do something. I don't know, man. Maybe we got out coached. I don't fucking know, man. Maybe Michael Malone out coached Darvin Ham. I don't fucking know, man. Maybe d should. I don't know. I don't know. I just know we got our ass kicked in the third quarter, man. We got our ass fucking kicked in the third quarter. That shit, Laker gang, that shit happened so goddamn fast. I don't even know what the fuck. Nigga, I looked up and we was losing. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Them niggas just... Oh, my God. This was probably damn near the Nuggets' worst game, and we still couldn't win. No one did anything, and we somehow still lost. Jokic had his triple-double, but, I mean, it was a pretty quiet game for him. MPJ's fucking garbage. Bruce Brown's garbage. KCP made a few shots at the beginning. He's fucking garbage. Aaron Gordon is fucking garbage. Nobody, Jamal Murray didn't even, we didn't even let Jamal Murray get, what he didn't even have fucking 20 points this game. He was fucking 35 every other game. We didn't even let him get 20 and we still couldn't fucking win. We slowed everybody down. LeBron had 40 and we still couldn't fucking win. I see why LeBron don't like scoring 40 because when LeBron scored 40, them bitch ass niggas like to stand around and watch him. When LeBron start to take over, them bitch ass niggas just be standing with their hands in their, with their hands in their pocket, playing with their fucking cock. What the fuck are these, these niggas just be standing around watching the nigga. Whenever LeBron start going Kobe mode, niggas just stand around and watch him. I see why he be trying not to, you know what I'm saying? I see why he be trying not to just take over. He be trying to get y'all niggas involved because when a nigga get to scoring a bunch of points, niggas just get to standing around. Niggas don't know what the fuck to do in the third quarter. We got fucking swept. What in the fuck? You niggas really swept our shit.
Like I said, MJ better. Don't even get me started on MJ. I don't don't get me started on this bullshit, nigga. But I got two thousand more points than anybody in the playoffs. The fuck you, niggas talking about MJ, little fucking drugged out, alcoholic, gambling ass. Could have never made it twenty seasons, boy. He gave in to his temptations while LeBron was still focused. Boy, that nigga never could have made it 20. The fuck out of here, bitch ass nigga. Fuck, who the fuck even remembers that shit anyways? Those bitches. Yeah, but they want the white boy to win. I get it. Yeah, let the white boy win. Yeah, I don't make it. Oh, let the white boy win. Oh, let the white boy win. It'll make all the little white boys want to join the NBA. Yeah, it's a good story. Yeah, I get it. The white boy never wins in the NBA. Y'all want the white boy to win. Y'all been trying to act like this nigga was the best for the last fucking however many years. And we ain't been buying it. He won them two back to back. And we didn't think like he deserved to win them. I still am standing on that. Yoka shouldn't have won them shits back to back. So now the NBA trying to push the little nigga through so it can make it look like they knew what they was talking about. And it can be a little story. And new. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, push the white boy through, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. I get it. That's marketable. You know what I mean? That's good for branding. You know what I mean? It's good for marketing. You know what I mean? Oh, the fat white kid. Yeah, first y'all let the little, the little scrawny, little light skinned nigga. Yeah, you, all you little scrawny, light skinned niggas, you can do it too. Look at Curry. That can be you. And now you're gonna let the fat white kid make it through. Yeah, you guys, all your little fat white kids, you can make it too. Just look at your kids. You can be the next fat white kid. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave y'all with this, and then I'm going to get out of here. Mark my words, LeBron will play in another NBA Finals. Stephen A. said some weird-ass shit today. I don't know if he was clickbaiting. Maybe ESPN views are low or some shit. He said LeBron is never going to make another fucking Finals, and that is fucking wild. That's a wild statement to make, (laughs) given the amount of power and skill and notoriety. That LeBron has. That was a fucking wild statement to make. We watched fucking Tom Brady win a fucking Super Bowl. And that nigga Tom Brady wasn't nearly as competent as LeBron is. LeBron just dropped fucking 40. He didn't sit out the fucking game. When Tom Brady won the Super Bowl, he was not fucking playing like LeBron just fucking played. So I think it's safe to say that we're going to make a fucking another one, you bitch ass niggas. This is not it. LeBron will make another motherfucking NBA Finals. Mark my words. It's not done. You haven't seen the last of this shit. We not done. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm LeBron, it's time to get that press story released. It's time to go hit up the doctor, a credible, reputable doctor, and make sure that that story comes out where y'all say that LeBron had a foot injury, ankle injury, knee injury, whatever. Y'all need to come out and say that LeBron had some type of injury through the playoffs. I need to hear that. Us LeBron fans, we need to hear that. So get that story ready, LeBron, and drop that motherfucker. So then I can come in here and be like, see, I told y'all bitch ass niggas there was something wrong with him. He's still the motherfucking best. So get the motherfucking story ready. You know what I mean? Drop the shit. I'll be ready for it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back the next year. We're going to act like this shit never fucking happened. D-Lo's fucking gone. We're going to resign AR. We're going to somehow pull off Kyrie. You see Kyrie pom-poms. Fucking sideline. He know what fucking time it is, boy. We getting Kyrie and AR. Wendy already said it's possible we're going to get it done. We're going to have Kyrie. We're going to have AR. We're going to come back with AD. And we're going to run this shit back. Y'all niggas got LeBron fucked up. You got LeBron fucked up if you think LeBron ain't going to make it back to the motherfucking finals. We're going back to the finals. And this season was a failure. This season was not a success. I don't give a fuck how far the Lakers made it. I don't give a fuck where they started off. This season is a failure. We have LeBron. We should have made the finals. It was y'all niggas that thought the Lakers never had a shot. I knew the Lakers had a shot from the very beginning. None of this shit is surprising to me at all. For us to just smoke the Warriors and the and, and the, and the Grizzlies and just four, get 4 0 it's just, I don't know. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. So we got to get that story ready. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing a lot of Laker fans talking about some, oh, yeah, if LeBron wasn't injured, this would be a totally different story. And I don't like y'all niggas saying that shit. Ain't nothing even came out yet. And niggas wasn't saying that when LeBron beat Curry or the Grizzlies. So I think it's kind of weird for niggas to say that now. But if LeBron go hit up that doctor and he actually drops a story saying that he was injured, then I will completely recant what I'm saying and it won't be weird. And I'll be standing on that same hill saying, fuck you niggas, he was injured. (laughs) But until some shit comes out, I'm not finna just claim, oh, he was injured, that's why we lost. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that shit. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's all I got. I really ain't got nothing. I really ain't got nothing, man. I'm tired. I'm tired of coming in here and they lose. I know y'all wanted me to do a bunch of screaming and a bunch of, you know, this and that. Nah, but I'm tired, man. I'm fucking tired. I didn't come in here and did four losses in a row. I, I just don't have it in me. You know what I'm saying? I just don't have it in me. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got. It's over. I won't be watching the NBA Finals. I'm fucking... Going on vacation, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. I'm about to go spend some money, you fucking pussies. I'm out of here, man. That's it. I ain't got nothing else, man. (sighs) Laker season is over yet again. Let the little fucking fat white boy win, man. Fuck it. Give them little niggas something to believe in. You know what I mean? I get it. It's fucking 2023. It's fucking TikTok era. We got to fucking, yeah. We got to do some new marketable, mainstream, new school shit. Yeah, let the fat white kid win. That's, That's pretty, it's pretty new school. Pretty new school, old school. A little bit of old school, new school. (laughs) Congratulations, Denver. You guys showed that you were real. I ain't been talking shit about y'all all all year. Ah, them niggas not on shit. Ah, they gonna lose in the playoffs. Ah, they some hoes. Because that's what y'all did every single year. Y'all showed up this year. Them fucking bitches. Alright, well. I hate to say I knew this was going to happen, but I kind of knew this shit was going to happen, man. Kind of felt like when we lost game three, we was going to get our ass swept. But at least LeBron came out and dropped 40, man. At least he didn't go out like a bitch. I'm like, man, I was I was really surprised that, you know what I mean? I'm glad that he showed up. You know what I mean? That's, I think that was important from a legacy perspective. But, like, I don't know. That's it. Shit going to be the lowest watch NBA Finals ever.